is Mike Placentia, Fight Mike MMA. Today we're here with our guest, Donald Robertson. Mike Placentia, Fight Mike MMA. We're here with Ultimate Fitness fighter, Donald Robertson. How you doing, man? I'm pretty good. Uh, you were supposed to fight in last weekend, or two weekends ago, West Coast Fighting Championship card, and you got pulled off of it. Tell us what happened. A um, couple things. Uh, my first opponent, I believe he got hurt. Second one uh, had some medical issues, and after that, you know, it was cat and mouse trying to find somebody, but too short of notice, you know, two days you know, away from the fight, so they uh, took me off the show, but I was more than ready, you know. But it happens. I'm used to it. Got to roll with the punches, man, you know. Slip in, slip out, it happens. I'm ready though. Did you uh, treat yourself to a couple of uh, <laughs> some some uh, some babes at the massage parlor for, <laughs> just for going through your trouble of cutting all the weight? Oh man, before and after. I had to, man. I had too much energy. I had to do something with it. Besides, stuff myself. Yeah, I got a couple deep tissues. I can't lie about that. Yeah. Deep tissues. <laughs> so tell us, besides fighting, I notice that you're in here sometimes. Uh, actually helping some of the top fighters here train with their kickboxing, man. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, I consider myself to be a, a really good striker. Uh, I'm a good MMA fighter, but striking is my thing. Um, and yeah, I'm one of the head instructors here at the gym. I give a lot of personal and private lessons. Um, I help a little bit with the top guys um, when they need it. Submits here and there. Um, you know, a few pointers. I mean, obviously they're top tier, so they get their coaching from, you know, Coach Cammon, who, who was recently here, and, and Coach Bay, who's a, who's a really good coach and got, you know, the number one uh, Coach of the Year award. So, but yeah, man, I help out as much as I can. Um, striking's my thing, and everybody knows that. Could Ronda Rousey beat Floyd Mayweather? If she takes him down. Yeah. But other than that, I don't, I don't think so. She looked really good in her last fight, her striking, her boxing. She's improving, but, you know, Floyd, you know, He's on a whole nother level. I don't. I don't think she can see him. Could you be uh, Ronda Rousey? <laughs> if she didn't take me down, hell yeah, yeah. Um, I got the range on her. Um, you know, I got the striking prowess. I'm too big. I'm too fast. I'm too pretty. But she takes me down, man. I don't know. I got long arms. I might be in trouble, but I'll do my best to stay up. But she's a hell of a fighter. Love you, Rousey. Love you. Props there. So last weekend's UFC 175. Your teammate, Uriah Faber. Tell us a little bit about what you thought of the fight. Oh, man, I thought he was going to get in with the favorite team. But you know what? He got the choke. He got the win. I liked how he fought smart. He went about the situation smart. He didn't rush in, but he dominated from beginning to end. Kikaris is good. Um, you know, he's ranked 12th in the world, man. He's made a lot of improvements. He looks really strong. He's young. He's hungry. He smiles a lot. <laughs> but, you know, Faber is, is a beast. And... Uh, He's one of the best in the world, and he will be, you know, even when he retires. So, you know, it was a good fight, and I enjoy watching it. So who are you going to beat up next? <laughs> Wherever they put in front of me, man, um, I think I'm one of the top middleweights in uh, California, and West Coast is probably the show I'm going to have to prove it at. If not, King of the Cage, you know, Bellator, holla at me. You know, I'm ready. Uh, I got over 13 plus fights. All my wins are by knockout. At, at 185, I'm undefeated. I'm strong. You know, I look good. I got a pretty beard. Man, come on, look at this beard. You got to have this beard on the show. Got to, man. But anyway, you know, I'm, I'm ready. UFC, I, I'll be there soon, but I'm working my way up one fight at a time. But, you know, the Black Mamba is on the rise right now. So, you know, beware. Don't get stung. This guy's a good fighter. He's pretty. 185, he does stand up, he trains with Uriah. What can't this guy do? So with that said, how can people get a hold of you social media? What's your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? Uh, Twitter, bmamba at uh, 185. Same for uh, my email is uh, blackmamba at 185, or blackmamba185 at gmail.com. Instagram, bmamba185. All right, guys, you heard it here. This guy's pretty, he can fight, he got all the social media stuff, no reason to not get a hold of him. Bellator, UFC, Fight Mike MMA, out.
I make you all my yes, man. You know, just hit them with the one base. So if I dead, man, always after the body taste. So I'm scalping them in the face, that's helping them in the way. And if they disappear, out the scene, I'll let them go on with the day. I need my homies who were down like that. 5150 hats coming strapped, cause I got my back. 